Hi, I'm Magician Paul Weatherby, and in this tutorial, it is the introduction to spoon bending. Why bend a spoon, you ask? Well, back in the 70s, there was an Israeli psychic named Yuri Geller, and he claimed he could bend spoons with his mind. Well, since then, magicians have started doing it, and 40 years later, they're still doing it. This is a brief introduction. Get yourself some cheap spoons. Get them at uh, a five and dime store. You can get spoons three or four for a dollar. The cheaper the spoon, the better. Have a collection of spoons. You can take the spoons and, well, you can have one person look at a spoon. They can examine it. You can take that spoon. You can pass another spoon out for someone else to examine. And take the spoon. Now watch very carefully, with just a little bit of motion, the spoon actually starts to bend. Can you see the bend in that spoon? Compared to, uh, let's say, this spoon, you can see how much that's bent. A spoon bent with psychic powers. And now, the big secret. Here it is. You bend the spoon when nobody's looking. I know that's shocking, isn't it? This is what you do. You have all the spoons out. You pass one spoon out to someone. They look at it, they hand it back to you. You pass the spoon to another person. As you're crossing your arm over, simply grasp the spoon like this, and press the handle on a table. Then, hold the spoon straight on to the audience. They can't tell that there's a bend in it. Start shaking the spoon, and slowly, slowly let it go forward. And then, they can see the big bend in the spoon. That in a nutshell, is an introduction to spoon bending. I'm magician Paul Weatherby. Check out weatherbymagic.com. Rock on and keep your magic strong.